When setting up a cut, first input the size of the blade being used, then move to your other cut options. The first is cut type. Choose between chop, vertical cutting, Y feed, front to back, planar, Y feed with vertical step increments, and manual. The first three are fully automatic modes, while in manual, the user can direct the cut with the joystick. Among the three automatic cutting modes, the first is chop cut. Input the depth of the cut and press the check mark to accept. The second automatic mode is Y feed cutting. Input the distance of the cut and then press the check mark to accept. The machine has the ability to use both the metric and imperial measurement scales. To change between the two, go to the settings screen in the top left and toggle the measurement scale by pressing the button. The last automatic cutting mode is planar cut mode. To set up a planar cut, first input the distance back to front of each cut. Then input the total depth of the cut and finally the depth of each incremental step. Last is speed rate. When used with SmartCut, the machine can maximize speed while protecting itself from stalling and maintaining a high cut quality. The final cutting mode is manual mode and here the user controls the movement. Move up and down to control the vertical movement, left and right to control the horizontal movement, and twist the joystick to move the table forwards and backwards. During manual mode, the user cannot move in the horizontal direction while the blade is spinning. This is to protect the blade from breaking. Next is serial cut. See how to set up a serial cut in another video. To get rid of a serial cut, simply delete every cut by selecting the cuts and pressing the trash button. Now decide whether or not to use variable smart cut. Use the toggle button on the main screen to turn it on and off. To change the smart cut protection setting, see the additional video. At all times, the machine is tracking how far the user has moved from the origin position. If the user wishes to set a new origin position, press the coordinates button to reset the X, Y, and Z axes to zero. Press the homing button if you wish to return to the origin position already set. The machine will automatically move to that position. If there is a save method the user wishes to access, simply press the method if it is in the recent method box or select it from the method menu and open the file. Once the user has a method loaded, simply press the play button. If the user wishes to stop the cut but not abort the cut, hit the pause button. If the user wishes to abort the cut, hit the stop button.